Athleticism is about more than just performing in a sport. It's about knowing your body and knowing what it takes to reach peak performance. That's why proper nutrition utilizing fruits, vegetables, dairy, and grains is so important. The Washington Interscholastic Nutrition Forum, or WIN Forum, was created to help athletes, their coaches, trainers, and parents gain that understanding. With support from the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association, Washington Youth Soccer Association, UW Medicine, Spokane Hoop Fest, and Washington Dairy Products Commission, the WIN Forum conducts four meetings each year to provide the latest nutrition information to help athletes reach their goals. It's really an interesting time in sports and athletics right now. A we recent WIN Forum meeting was held at the Conabare Shell House on the University of Washington campus in Seattle. Dr. Brian Krabeck, a sports medicine physician at the University of Washington Medical Center, and Emily Edison, UW Athletics nutritionist, registered dietitian, and win forum coordinator, spoke to area high school coaches about the connection between scoring high at mealtime and scoring high at game time. I want to welcome you um, to the win forum. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, this, this rate your plate system we have. Emily and Brian use the acronym SCORE to guide athletes in the food choices they make. S means simple, not saucy. C stands for color and carbs. O is for healthy oils. R is a reminder to rehydrate. And E means to eat for energy. So athletes really need to understand nutrition as part of their general program. We know that a variety of our, our adolescent athletes and collegiate athletes are going to develop the skills for long-term use, fitness and exercise beyond the time they're competing now. And it's important to incorporate nutrition into that exercise for lifelong health. S, simple, not saucy. A meal should have a carbohydrate for energy, protein for muscle, and healthy fat. Stay away from white and brown sauces. What we try to do is get athletes to think about eating their foods simply prepared, not with a lot of sauces. And if they are going to have sauce, we like to have them think about doing colorful sauces, like tomato-based sauces that have a lot of um, additional nutrients, like lycopene. We know that's a phytochemical that helps provide protection against disease. Make sure you can see plenty of color on your plate. You should also include plenty of carbs, such as grains, vegetables, and dairy. If a plate is colorful, it has more nutrition in it. It has more vitamins and minerals. And carbohydrates, we know, provide uh, the energy for athletes. We want ath athletes to have over 50% of their nutrition coming from carbohydrates. And so we use the C to make sure that on that plate, we've got color and carbs. Oh, healthy oils are an important part of a diet. We have oils uh, is a good component for some fat resources. We want to use healthy resources of fat, things like avocado, appropriate olive oil, that can help fuel the athlete. Water is an athlete's most important nutrient. You should focus on hydration before, during, and after a workout. I like to have athletes think about drinking at least half their weight in ounces every day. So if an athlete weighs 160 pounds, they need to have about 80 ounces or more of water a day. Now, I also like to remind athletes that hydration can come from 100% fruit juice, it can come from dairy, it can come from soup, it can come from fresh fruits and vegetables too. Athletes must eat to compete. That means eating appropriate meals and healthy snacks in between. Snacks can be as simple as a piece of fruit and yogurt. I think that what's key to nutrition and exercise is that we have an opportunity for our younger athletes to instill in them the principles for long-term success. So it's important to eat correctly, to exercise correctly, because it has long-term health benefits. We want to remind athletes that eating is good. Eating is a positive thing and that we need to eat in order to have the energy that we have to have to sustain performance during practice and in competitions. Next time you're planning a meal, keep these five tips in mind. Then, score your plate. Give yourself one point for each category your meal fulfills. If you meet all five categories, then you're eating a healthy meal. If you get three or four points, some minor adjustments will get you to where you need to be. Between zero and two points means you need to add some colorful and nutrient-rich foods like dairy, whole grains, and lean meats. No matter where you compete, whether it's in the high school gym, on the football field, or in the desert in the middle of nowhere, it's important to balance the nutritional needs and hydration needs to compete. 
We know that athletes who don't eat well don't perform well. You're going to perform at your best. You have to eat. And that means eating at least three times every day and interspersing some snacks in so that they have enough fuel to sustain energy levels at practice and perform well. We want them to have, feel like they're accomplishing something when they look at their food and they can tell that it's colorful, it contains carbs, and it has all the other um, components of the SCORE program. To learn more about sports nutrition, visit www.winforum.org. Rate your plate to SCORE.